Hello everyone. We are FunTech Lab, the creators of the desktop wind tunnel Winsible. By now, we've become one of the most creatively driven brands in the world of decast accessories. Today, we're answering many of your burning questions in one big honest reply. If you still have questions after this, feel free to contact us anytime. Let's start with a quick intro. Back in March 2024, we shared our first prototype on Reddit. The response was incredible. And before we even shipped a single unit, we were featured by Top Gear. That's when we knew this idea could really fly.in. July 2024, we officially launched on Kickstarter, and FunTech Lab was born. First, the big question, where can I buy one, and when will it ship? Our official store is uh, www.fun-tech.com. We're also running test sales on Amazon. The 1 to 64 Winsible is now fully in stock. In many countries, it ships and arrives within two weeks. It's officially entered mass production and is being sold just like any normal product. We've got a North America warehouse and a growing list of regional distributors. As of this video, the 1 to 64 Winsible is in stock. And the 1 to 64 Runsible, our mini dyno, is shipping this month. We'll be filming unboxing soon. As for the long waited, 118 and 124 versions, making them stable at this scale is much harder than we expected. But we're almost there. Our goal is to complete all outstanding orders by Q3 this year. Speaking of delays, we have to mention Mer was he the boss. Miniaturized version of what engineers would use to test the aerodynamics of cars and planes. And so this would allow you to do those same tests, but using model cars and planes. It got super delayed and then they started asking for more money. In his video, he mentioned so. that he ordered one of our larger models and hasn't received it yet. He also said we tried to charge more afterward. He's right. First of all, we were honestly thrilled to see Mer was he the boss on our backer list. We're honored and we're also genuinely sorry for the delay. Everyone who ordered a 118 or 124 version is in the same boat, and we're treating all of you equally. The 118 and 124 projects are still being developed. As we've explained in over 32 project updates, the 1 to 64 version has already been successfully shipped and received great feedback. However, the 118 and 124 scale versions are still under ongoing development and production. During this process, the associated costs have continued to rise, Asking for extra payment? That was a mistake. We've canceled that idea entirely. No extra fees, period. To fill the financial gap, we found other ways, including loans and production redesigns. We promise, no more surprise charges. We're truly sorry for the confusion and frustration this caused to make the wait worth it. We're adding a bonus expansion kit to the 118 and 124 orders and upgrading the features too. These features go way beyond what we originally showed during the campaign check our Instagram. You'll see how far we've come. The new prototypes outperform our initial versions in every way. Stability, fog dynamics, visual flow. Scaling it up has been way harder than expected. We're truly sorry for the delays, but please believe us. We're still committed to delivering, even in our hardest moments. We never stop trying to deliver joy. Now let's get back Q&A. From the community, Q, can I use water instead of the fog fluid? Will it damage the paint? Hey, nope, don't try that. Our fog fluid is custom blended to be safe for you and your car models. Even after 20 minutes of use, there's no residue. One full load in exhibition mode can run for over 400 hours. Q, cool. what if I run out of fog fluid? Where can I buy more? Can I use alternatives? A, you can always buy official refills from our website. We don't recommend using random substitutes. They might leave puddles. Create excess moisture or even corrode your collection. Q. Cool. How long does a bottle of fog fluid last? Are there refills available? Can it run for 12 hours in the store? Display? Is there fire risk with filters, ignition systems? Does smoke escape? Does the smoke have odor? How often to replace filters? A. On the 1 to 64 model, a bottle lasts over 20 hours of active use, or up to 400 hours in exhibition mode. Built-in safety. Includes auto stop after 10 minutes and a fog level warning when running low. The filter lifespan for the 64 Winsible varies depending on usage. Based on current user feedback, most filters last over three months on average. However, if your 64 Winsible is running at overload capacity, you might need to replace the filter in under three weeks. Q, can I use it to test insert random model? Do you have full size wine tunnels? A, if it fits, it flies. Check our site for full spec charts and screenshots you can save. Stay tuned to FunTech Lab. We may develop larger scales or custom sized wind tunnels in the future. Q. Why is it so expensive? A. Currently, we can't offer lower prices while maintaining our quality and design standards. 
but we'll try to develop products at different price points for model car enthusiasts. Q. What about plastic or resin kits? Will fog damage them? A. Most standard models are fine. For custom paints or handmade kits, test a small area first, just to be sure. After testing, remember to clean your model's surface promptly. 2. Please make a wind tunnel for 1-5 to five scale RC cars. A. We hear you. Once we finish shipping the 118 and 124 models, we'll explore building a bigger version. But for that scale, it'll most likely be a custom-only build, not something you just click Add to Cart. Q. Do you offer warranty? A. Yep. Every Winsible comes with a one-year warranty. If it breaks and it's not your fault, we'll fix it. No drama. Q. Can I run the Runsible 24-7s? A. Totally fine. As long as it's powered by Type-C, you can run it non-stop. <laughs> Thanks for adding both charging port and battery option to Runsible. Throughout product development and manufacturing, our goal has always been to deliver something truly fun. Whenever we find opportunities to improve, we'll never give up on making it better. Q. Does the wind tunnel have actual R&D applications, like with sensors? Will it in the future? A. The lab edition already includes multiple sensors. And yes, you can even add PIV, particle image velocimetry. Fancy stuff. Hill, will I ever have Bluetooth? I want it to be a Bluetooth alarm clock. A. Not yet. Technically possible. The hardware is capable, but we're prioritizing 180 and 124 right now. Alarm clock mode will have to wait. Q. Next version. Can you add flowing LED strips to simulate movement? A. Great idea. We're into it. Might be possible in the 118, 124 builds. Q. I want to pay to upgrade to the latest version Runcible. How much? A. Actually no payment needed. There was a misunderstanding due to an incorrect poster we published with wrong dates. All upgrades are free. We're deeply grateful for your early support of our new project. For our early backers, we'll always provide the best support possible. Q. You said 100 miles per hour. Really? And the fog looks fake too. A. Okay, here's the deal. The displayed speed is for show, not actual wind speed. You can manually adjust the real speed. Honestly, no one wants to watch their model crawl through a 3 km per hour fog tunnel. It has to look cool. But yeah, if you set it to 200 km per hour for real, your decast might take off. Q. This belongs in the hands of an F1 commentator. A. That would be amazing. If you know someone in F1 commentary, Slide into our DMEs. We owe you lunch. Q. Can't wait any longer. A. Runcible is shipping soon, and the 180, 124 versions will ship normally in Q3 this year. Thank you all for your patience. Closing thoughts. Let's decode our name. Fun Tech Lab. Fun will keep crafting joyful. Wild Creative Accessories for Decast Lovers. Tech. Expect smarter. Internet powered. Upgradable products very soon. Lab. We're also building tools for research. Classrooms and passionate tinkerers. Thank you for all the support. Always, we'll end this episode with some of your most touching messages.